Okay, I know I sneak peeked this cup for you in my community feed and um, I lost the footage of actually putting the cellophane on it. So I figured that's kind of the most important part. So I ended up stripping the whole video back or the whole cup back and starting from scratch. So I'm just going to cover my surface a little bit. So I showed you where I bought these neon paints at Walmart. Um, six colors. This green or this orange, this is not green, is kind of gross. But no matter how much I shake it up, stir it up, mix it up, it is gross. So they're all black light neons except for the pink is a glow in the dark neon. They didn't have the black light pink in stock. And I wanted pink. And then I have a bunch of Dollar Tree makeup brushes. One per color. Some are bigger than others. Some are in better shape than others. But I need six brushes. So um, in the original version, I did not base my cup white. I put two coats of white acrylic on this time, hoping that it would require less coats of the neon because it took me like three or four coats to cover it the first time. And it's still going to take several coats. But I'm going to go on just in kind of a swirl pattern. So I'm going to get at least two more coats on here and then I will be back to show you how I'm going to do the cellophane. Okay, so I am ready to move on with this. Um, I'm just going to go over this real quick, what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix up 30 ml of resin. I'm going to use KS Resin Liquidy Split so it will be ready quicker to apply the cellophane too. I buy the iridescent holographic basket cello bags. Um, it's easier for me to store than a roll and these were just what was available cheaper when I ordered. Um, I got these on Amazon. Each bag, uh, they're 24 by 28 so that's the front and the back. You get twice that. Each bag's enough to do at least four cups. So it wasn't a bad way to go. Um, so I'm going to trim this down some. I'm going to cut a small square off of another piece to be the bottom. And that should be plenty. So what I do is rent it up. Because you want some wrinkles in here. And I'm going to double check for fit, just to make sure I didn't spend it too far. So, I'm still pretty good. I can crinkle it a little more if I want, or I can trim it down a little more if I want. And 
again, I'm going to do the same thing with the one that's going on the bottom. You want those crinkles in it. You don't want it perfectly flat and smooth, but you don't want, like, deep wrinkles. So that'll be my bottom piece. And I am going to cut that down some, so I'm going to mark it quick. I'm still going to have some excess, but when I get to this point, I don't want too much. So that's a dry fit. That's not bad. So I'm going to get 30 ml of resin mixed up. I'm going to get it on the cup. And then, um, like I said, I'm going to use liquidy split. I'm going to set a timer for an hour. And I'm going to check it and see if it's starting to set up at the hour mark. If it's to tacky but still movable is kind of where I want it. So I will be back. I'm actually going to do one more thing. First, I'm going to take my edge cutter and I'm actually going to cut a tiny rim here and clean the paint back off. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But I am ready to get my crinkly shit on. So, uh, I'm going to start with the bottom. This resin is still quite tacky, but still workable to some extent, which is exactly what I need to adhere this. So, that way I can still kind of keep my crinkles, but it's going to like fill in the crinkles. I found with other adhesives, and even when I did this in the past, I didn't let it set up enough. So it um, ended up kind of squishy, and I don't want squishy. Sorry, I am off camera for a second here. But you can see it's still stringy. So definitely wear gloves. And I might even pull some of this in a little bit more. to wrinkle it a little bit more. You don't want bubbles under it. Bubbles are bad. So if you can work out any bubbles, try. All right. <clears throat> and I don't know where to start with this. I'm going to try and only have to trim at the bottom for the most part. Like major trimming. So, kind of trying to make sure my top edge is somewhat lined up. I have a little bit of trimming to do, but not too much. And I'm actually just going to kind of roll it on my table. Okay, so I think I'm going to, I think I can see that's my exact line. I don't really want to get my scissors nasty, but I'd rather get it trimmed as much now as I can, because this is where I ran into problems 
on my second ones was trying to trim after the fact. So I can almost pull away from the top somewhere into wrinkles and get my top where I need it. I want that little bit of silver reveal for the resin to adhere to. And this is a little bit much, so we're gonna trim that off. And I will clean my scissors with alcohol when I'm done here. and keep working this down. I'm going to get this back on the turner and um, let it finish curing. But I got this kind of weird idea in my head. It's been about another half hour, 45 minutes. I was kind of thinking some cellophanes will heat shrink. Um, I know there's specific heat shrink heat wrap materials um, and I don't know what this cellophane will do under heat. But I think I'm going to get my heat gun and heat it real, real quick and see what happens. And hopefully I don't melt it because I really don't want to start this cup a third time. So I don't know. It just popped into my head that I wondered if it would give it a tighter seal. So I'm going to go with high fan, medium heat, I think. Oh, it's definitely shrinking that quick. It, I was just thinking it might help with the seal, like on the bottom rim, especially. And I might not have to do as many coats of resin. So. Okay, so it definitely sealed to itself on the bottom, which I think is great because I don't think I'm going to have to trim that up anymore. And it kind of sealed itself to the top edge of the cup. And I can definitely feel where it got stiffer in some spots. So whether it actually helped or not, it certainly didn't hurt any. It was definitely worth a shot. And now I will be back when I'm ready to bring the second, the next coat on. Okay, so this is completely dry down here. I cleaned around the top rim with my blade. So I have mostly exposed silver. Well, I have all exposed silver. So the resin can bond to that. This layer is just going to be a clear coat on top of the cellophane. And then the next coat will be my Milky Way type coat. So... I have 30 mLs mixed up. It's pretty hefty for a coat, but I need to start filling in some of these ridges. Okay, so we are dry. This is actually like really smooth at this point. Um, I think heat shrinking it really really helped me to fill it because it's actually eliminated like three coats of resin two coats of resin at least um and a ton of sanding especially around the rim like it sealed that up nice and i am quite happy so 
Um, trying to find the plug the switch here. I want it to turn towards me. Um, the bumpiest part is my seam on the back side. I'm going to put most of this on here. I have 30 mLs mixed up, but I'm going to hold back like 10, 7.5, something like that. So I have Frosty Pearl Mica Powder. This is from Woody's Goodies. Um, use whatever you want. I'm actually, I'm going to use a little bit of this because I said I was going to use this one, but I think I'm going to switch to my Pearl X in all honesty. So I'm going to put a little bit of that one in there. And then I'm going to use my Pearl X Pearl White. Because I think this has like a little bit more shimmer to it, but it's not a bright white. It's almost got like a silvery undertone to it. So I'm just going to mix the two of them together. And I was debating putting some alcohol ink in here. Um, I just spilled some mica. You should really put your mica in your cup first and then pour your resin on top. But because I'm working from the cup that I mixed in, that's not going to happen. I think I'm going to put like two drops of... Um, this is my Pinata Blanco Blanco white alcohol ink. So I'm just going to put, if I can get it to come out, which I can't because my nozzle is clogged naturally. Shoot. And I don't see my small bottle anywhere, of course. Of course. So I'm just going to take the top off and um, hopefully not pour a crap ton in. Okay, so that was more like six drops. This bottle's been kicking around for a while because I had two of the smaller ones. So I haven't been using my refill bottle. But that's going to whiten it up again and take... Just take the um, saturation a bit up. So, I'm going to just start running some thin lines kind of where the colors overlap I don't want a ton because I don't really want to take away from this too much and if you do it from the bottom <laughs> you can actually chase your turn that's why I have it turning this direction torch. I'm not going to hit this with my heat gun because I don't want it moving that much. And I'm going to start pretty far back. Um, I'm going to scoot this so you can see the side and just see like I'm way back. Because I don't want this to start running in straight lines around the cup. And you can start like just isolating sections if you want. If you want some of it to maintain the integrity of a line. But you do want it to break up a little bit here and there. I feel like I need one more line in between that color. I think I did pretty much in between all of the other ones, except for that. So, 
and this is kind of starting to move in a direction I don't want it to so but this is still so sheer even with that ink in it that it's okay so now is where you can add a little more So I'm just going to watch it come around one more time and make sure there's no big bloopy globby spots I want to break up. I'm going to leave that big spot because that's covering that weird spot I mentioned. But um, overall I think I'm pretty happy. I'm going to let this spin for a couple hours and then we will come have a look at it and that'll be it. Okay, so I promised to come back. This is um, still just a tiny bit tacky, so I'm just wearing a glove to handle it, but it's mostly dry already. But I absolutely freaking am so in love with the way this came out. I'm trying to like tilt it so you can see that iridescent. Because it is there. But that is how the bottom ended up on this one. This looks so much better than the way the first one was going. Um, I did quit babysitting it, so I do have a bit more of a line at the bottom than I wanted, but you know what? It's fine. So again, I'm not going to decal this right now because I don't know what I want to put on it. But oh, that is it. And again, I think heat shrinking that made like all the difference in the world so I will definitely be doing that from now on but that is it thank you for watching give you a little quick shot of that iridescent uh, please if you would give me a like and a subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in the next one